Hi, this is Vance Simons, Feltz Field, building the Xena 701. I wanted to give you a look at my isolated elevator control system. What I did is I cut the upright off of the torque tube and I affixed it to a piece of, I believe it's 063 aluminum plate. It is a 135 millimeters wide correction 135 millimeters long and 60 millimeters wide and then I fixed it with the same material that they use to stiffen up the the floors it's a piece of three quarter inch by three quarter inch extrusion and I fixed it on the inner side and the outer side and I fixed the extrusion using rivets on the bottom and through the top where I could get at them. You also notice that I bent the ends up at a slight angle. That's to match the front seat channel that this sits on and the center section that this one sits on. This is the control linkage that I've built. It's a chrome molly, half inch OD, and uh, these ends will be welded in, TIG welded, now that I've got them cut to the proper length. And that's what I'll use to adjust it. Alright, I will stick the system in and hook up the linkage and let you see how it works. Alright, here's what it looks like mounted inside. Right now I just got it temporarily into place. Let's see, what I've did is I have taken a square and I have squared that up directly over top of the torque tube. I figured that's going to get it as close as the same angle that it was. And when I built it, I built it to set exactly where the other one set. Now we'll go outside and show you the push tube. All right, here's the push tube system in place. I'll put the spacer out there to get it away from the bottom of the stick here to give a little bit of clearance. I thought I was going to need a lot more clearance back here, but it looks really, really good. See, I'm moving the stick left and right, you see that that is about all the travel that it's going to have. Pull forward stick, pull back stick, side to side. So there, is my isolated elevator system for the Xena 701.